Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a pin cushion using Maya Rhodes Super Bottle Caps. And this is the one that measures three inches in diameter. So let me go over the supplies you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need your Maya Road bottle cap. You're also going to need some stuffing, and this is just some regular stuffing that you can buy at your fabric store. Then I have an 8x8 piece of fabric. This is some Heidi Grace fabric. You're going to need a rubber band, a pair of scissors, and some hot glue gun. And those are going to be your main supplies for the pin cushion. And I'm going to also add some trim. And then I'm using this Mega Marvi Uchida Circle Punch. This is a three inch punch. And then I also have some of these magnet sheets by Quick Hits, which is now Lifestyle Crafts. And these sheets are really thin. So your really thin wafer dies cut through these. And also these bigger punches can punch through these just fine. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is just, just gonna take your stuffing. You're gonna kind of you know, form a ball. It doesn't have to be perfect just yet. You just kind of get in the main shape started because once you add the fabric, you're going to be able to smooth it out and, you know, get a better roundness to it. So, just kind of squeeze it together and just put it in there just to make sure that, you know, it'll fit. And that's pretty good because once, once you put the fabric on it, you'll be able to tighten it a lot more. And then you're going to take your fabric you're going to put your stuffing right in the middle and you're just going to bring it up on all four sides. Okay. And then you just kind of play around with it and smooth out to make a, you know, pretty decent circle or ball, I should say. And don't worry about the excess fabric and stuffing. You're going to cut that off before you glue it in place. So, all right, so let's see. That's pretty good because once I, you know, push it down, you'll be able to fill most of the cavity of the bottle cap. So, I'm going to take your rubber band. I'm going to tighten up, wrap it around here pretty tight. You don't want it coming undone when you go to glue it. Gluing it is what's really gonna keep it in place, but you wanna make sure you you can work with it without it coming apart on you. Okay. Let's see. Pretty cute. You wanna make sure your fabric is, you know, it's tight, so when you go to take your pins out, you don't end up bringing the fabric along with it. So, there we go. That's pretty cute. So it's going to fit right in there. You know, sort of like that. So now what we want to do, make sure the rubber band is nice and tight. I think I can go around one more, and then we're going to cut the excess off. Okay. Alright, so just... Cut the X's off. And this is going to go in there, you know, some, kind of like that. So it won't stick out so much once I put it in the bottle cap. Just playing around with it a little more. Flatten it out. Alright. So here comes the gluing. Take your hot glue. I'm gonna be very generous. Very, very generous. You want a nice strong hold so that it doesn't end up coming out. As you can see, I'm being very generous with it. You can take your pink cushion, put it in the center, and push down. And the bottle cap is hot, so, you know, be careful if you put your hands underneath. So just hold it in here for, you know, a little bit so that the glue has a chance to dry. And you can work with it much easier once the glue is dry because you can always go and, you know, tuck some glue in between so that you can...
get it closer on the sides. Still a little warm, so I'm just gonna hold it in place just so that the glue has a little bit more of a chance to dry. All right. Okay, well, let me add another glue stick. Oh, no, wait, I still got some left. Okay. So then I'm just gonna go on the sides. And you see right here it has sticking out. I'm just gonna add some glue and then tuck it in like that. You're gonna do that all the way around. Just tuck in all those little corners that want to pop out. I'm sorry if you hear some noise. We're having a really bad storm out today. So it's thundering pretty loudly. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear that in the video or not. All right, so, see, so sweet. And I'm just gonna add some trim around the bottom, just around here, just to give it a little bit more of a finished look. Being very careful because, you know, hot. And if you want to hide your seam right here, you can always add a button or something like that, which I'll probably do after the video, but, you know, with the time constraint, I don't want to run out of time of actually showing you how to complete a pincushion. So, okay, so there you have the pincushion is done. I mean, if this is all you wanted, you can call it done. But I thought it will be really cute to add some magnet in the back so you can put it on your fridge, you know? And you could add notes, or you can just have like a little emergency kit with some needle and thread already attached, and some safety pins and things like that already hanging on your refrigerator. So, I'm gonna take my magnet sheet. And it already has adhesive, so it's so convenient. I'm just gonna punch a circle out. See how easy that just went right through because of the adhesive it gets stuck but you just gotta wiggle it a little bit and there you are and I'm just gonna apply the magnet to the back now you have a really cute Pin cushion made out of the Maya Road Super Bottle Caps. All right, so I'm going to have pictures at the end of the finished project. Thanks so much. Bye.